Hi, welcome to SFG Cards and Craft. Today I'd like to show you how I did this little card using Gerda Steiner Moody Unicorn stamp set. Uh, there's the stamp set on the screen now. There's four unicorns in it. I've just used the one on the bottom right corner there, there that I'm pointing to. There's also in uh, impression obsession balloons that I've used. One, the middle one, the, the middle sized one. Uh, the cardstock I'm using is just Canson 185 gram cold press. It's my usual uh, uh, paper that I use, watercolour paper that is. Uh, you'll notice that I'm actually overlapping the balloon slightly from one side to, on the two sides. The, the one in the middle is the complete balloon, the other ones are partial balloons. It's just to give the impression that the side balloons are actually partially behind the one in the middle. Uh, it looks more natural than if the balloons were sitting side by side and, and not overlapping or touching for that matter. Okay, almost done now. Okay, here's doing the unicorn. Tea dye, rusty hinge and hickory smoke. Come in with the water first and dampen the area that I'm about to paint. When I saw the stamp set first or oh, quite a few months ago now I thought I have to have that one and I couldn't find a place in Australia that actually sold it well I finally did find a place but of course it wasn't in stock so I had to wait for about a month for it to come into stock or more and uh, as soon as I was told that it was in stock I ordered it straight away I couldn't not order it straight away since I waited so long it's such a cute stamp set um, okay just doing tea dye on the body and I'd come in later on if I had I think yeah, I did do the ears then, but I think I do a second coat on the ears and think it looked very dark. This is rusty hinge I'm using on the mane and tail. Uh, I do oh, just a little bit onto the horn there accidentally. Uh, I do actually come in with a second coat of rusty hinge on the mane, but I I don't think I actually do a completely flat um, colouring. I think I actually just selectively pick out the where I would think the shading would be. I must have got another little patch of ink where it shouldn't be. I come in also onto the uh, body and face and body, of course, with a little bit of shading of the rusty hinge. It's probably more a mix of rusty hinge and tea dye, I think, mi mixed together. I'm pretty sure it's not completely just rusty hinge. It's not dark enough for that. Just around underneath the mane and under the chin sort of around the arms. I put a little bit onto the arms as well because I thought the arms, because they're sort of on the outside, assuming the light is coming straight on the front, they would be darker. And I'm just now doing the selective coating on, not coat, the second coat on the uh, mane and tail as well I do. I'm not sure why I'm actually still using the, the angle brush. I should have changed to the round brush again for this, but not to worry. I'm managing. I, I really do like the angle brush, especially the quarter inch angle brush. Over the years of my uh, doing folk art painting using acrylic paints, I actually have gone through a lot of these brushes. Painting is uh, actually quite hard on your brushes. Uh, it's, the paint seems to get up into the ferrule of the brush, which is that metal part where the bristles are squeezed into. That's called a ferrule, in case you didn't know. Um, it's The paint gets up into there, even though you try your hardest not to let the paint get up there, and it still gets there, and it, it really it's, it basically forces the bristles to spread, and you can't get a nice, um, nice even coat with the paint. <coughs> oh, here I'm doing the hooves. The hooves are just done with hickory smoke, just one or two coats, I don't remember if I did two coats. Sorry about not remembering, but I have actually recorded this quite a few days ago, and I'm just getting now to do the voiceover. I don't always get a chance to do it all in one hit. Well, I don't ever get a chance to do it all in one uh, hit. Uh, I guess I do come in with a second coat there, by the looks. Okay, and do I come in now with a, oh, a little bit more of something? I'm not sure. I think I come in with the Winker Stella. Yes, the gold Winker Stella for the horn. I've chosen to use that because it's a little bit sparkly and horns are magical things after all. Unicorn horns, that is. You can't really see the sparkle on the Winker Stella on the screen. 
uh, and, it, you, and even in real life until it actually dries you can, properly you can't really see the sparkle either uh, okay coming in with a this is just a, a multi-liner Copic multi-liner I think it's a 05 I didn't actually check there but I'm pretty sure it's a 05 putting eyelashes in so obviously this is a little girl unicorn that's going to a party She's got a big smile on her face <laughs> quite cute um, now I'm doing a cupcake for her to carry um, just roughly it doesn't take very long I've sped it up quite a lot so that it's not going to be taking because I mean it's all only done flat there's no highlighting or shading or anything like that on it's such a small tiny area um, also I don't have the dies for these I don't know if dies are available so I've had to cut all those out by hand myself um, the balloons okay coming in with sponge sugar on the first balloon this is for the, the pink one or the one on the left hand side uh, sponge sugar on the basically covering the whole area and then on the second one I actually uh, sorry on the, the shading I actually use abandoned coral I think I show that anyway ah, yes there it is abandoned coral uh, and that's just to do the outside although this one does sort of little get a little bit out of hand on with me and I end up having to go back in with the um, sponge sugar again it's a little bit out of control there <laughs> no worries the fix there's the, the beauty of the watercolor paper you can actually quite easily fix any problems like that now and now see it looks quite good so I'm happy with that I'll put it aside now the next color I'm going to be doing is the orange one with dried marigold and carved pumpkin for the shading same thing that's the, the large the full complete balloon the one in the middle I just thought I'd just use some of the rainbow colors or well, colors in the order of the rainbow the first three and since it is a little girl uniform uh, unicorn I don't know why I said uniform unicorn and just the shading on the balloon and it looks like I've got my fingers into it there a little bit but I think that'll probably come off hopefully so there they sort of join together nicely and they look quite good just cleaning up the, the surface in between the different colors so I don't get, get a cross contamination okay squeezed lemonade and fossilized amber for the next one or for the last one I still haven't got a re-inker for my yellow either my lemonade squeeze lemonade it seems to be still going okay but I think a lot of that color is actually in the blending um, sponge And coming in with a fossilized amber just to do a bit of shading around it I really like all these combinations that I've got there okay this is using Avery L pierced clouds uh, I used the die to cut just a piece of plastic I've, I've had this for a very long time I cut it a very long time ago and I've used it repeatedly on many many cards many different cards um, all you do is you, you place the the, the uh, mask I guess you could call it where you want it and you just basically you just slide the tool the sponge of the tool just off to the edge you don't let it go too far otherwise you get it too much you just want it just to fall off the edge and that's all and that's how you get this nice cloud looking sort of um, coating there and I, th I think it looks quite effective actually I, I, I think I prefer this to actually having cut out clouds or, or the uh, the long skinny cut out cloud I like the little little round clouds or little, or not round so little cloud shaped clouds but this one I think it looks quite effective and I do the same with some grass as well just to put a little bit of depth in the grass so yeah so you can have a look see it looks quite effective it looks like real sort of real clouds kind of and lawn fawn meadow border dye this is um, making made a mask again out of plastic I make these out of plastic so that they will last a long long time it is difficult to cut the grass one out of plastic though without it breaking you'll notice that one of the blades has actually broken off in the dye um, probably as, as I was actually removing the dye from the plastic at the time but I'm still using it it's broken off there you'll see one little flat tipped piece instead of having it as a pointy bit 
Now, I, I don't know what was wrong with my um, blending sponge here. It kept on putting lines. Uh, I don't know if I'd actually managed to get a bit of glue or something onto it that has actually dried and it was causing some problems, but it didn't matter because that was going to be behind this die cut anyway. And uh, that first colour that I used for the grass, um, I didn't write it down, sorry. It was showing there up the front. I think it might have been the um, something peeled paint, I think. And this is mowed lawn. And I've used a couple of lines there of uh, the ATG sticky tape, uh, sticky gun, uh, sticky tape from the ATG gun. So I get so confused. And now I'm just using the multi Ranger multi matte medium, multi medium matte glue. And then I just use my finger to sort of spread it over the grassy bits just so that they're stuck down. If, they, if they're not stuck down then they will actually lift up and peel away. Um, here I'm just coming in with a little bit of gold thread. It's just a very fine cotton. It's, it's a fairly strong one. It's got like a plasticky sort of a thread through it and it's quite strong. Um, it's coming in like almost metalized but it's not. It's just plastic I think. Just tying the string on the balloons. I do all the balloons but I only show one. and just snip it off snip and trim it okay I've, as I said I've done all the balloons there's the unicorn I've already cut him out and there's one of the balloons just sort of finding out where the balloon strings have to be um, stuck down to because I just use a bit of washi tape in behind where the unicorn is going to be sitting to secure the strings from the balloons so that they don't sort of pop out and once he, uh, the unicorn is actually stuck down they will actually um, hold behind that anyway had trouble with the balloon the, the tape that I'm using it's, it seems to be quite a strong tape but unfortunately it's got like a plastic uh, instead of paper it can't be torn by hand the, the tape itself can be but the actual plastic is uh, that plastic coating that I'm taking off there is impossible to tear by hand um, so I, I have to cut it with scissors and it's quite difficult it's, because it's staticky and very thin it <laughs> just seems to sort of stick back down again um, okay sticking the balloons on as you can see it looks quite effective uh, doing the balloons that way and having trouble getting that sticky tape backing off again as you can see I've got one piece that's clung statically to my finger there and again <laughs> okay sorry about this being slightly off the screen it's just sometimes it's quite difficult to actually know where this, the screen has got to be okay um, putting the I've put pieces patches of the uh, tape all over the back of the unicorn this tape is actually only about 0.8 of a millimetre thick but the roll that I've got is 66 metres long so it's a really long tape it's like oh, I don't know a couple of hundred feet nearly long um, anyway it's um, something that I bought at a local place here it's a, at a wholesaler so um, it's not everyone can actually get it but anyway there it is I've stuck the strings down on the balloons behind the unicorn she's holding a, a cupcake and she looks happy going to a party okay there's the completed card I'll just put a sentiment on there surprise that's uh, from the unicorn set as well there's a few sentiments in there and that happens to be one of them if you like this please subscribe and uh, tick the box the like box thank you bye bye <laughs>